Hi, my name is Cliff Turner, a professional makeup artist and body painter. I got my start in the industry. I was working for an entertainment company as an actor, and one day they actually made me go out and face paint. Uh, so I actually became a face and body painter first. I didn't enjoy that experience, but then I found out shortly after that the International Body Painting Convention was right around the corner, so I ran to the convention. I studied with Olivier, that was my very first class, and I completely fell in love with it. So I brought him back to the United States, we apprenticed with him, I did a lot of studying with him, and I think it became very good very quickly. Shortly after that, I was offered an opportunity to go work for a cosmetics company, and uh, you know, I grew up an actor in the movies and theater industry, and I had always been intrigued by makeup, but it just never crossed my mind that I could do that for a living. And at this point, it kind of struck me that I think that's something I'd really, really enjoy. So I actually went into cosmetics from a makeup artist and special effects point of view. I mean, from a body painter's point of view. So it's kind of like uh, coming in the side door of the cosmetics industry. So it gives me a whole different outlook on all the colors and foundations. And I think that's what made me a better makeup artist in general. How I got into airbrush makeup as opposed to just conventional makeup that you know women do every day, I actually had a client that had me on a retainer and uh, she would always have me come over and do her makeup if she thought she was going to go to dinner with her husband. And come to find out, she was actually also my wife's client. At that point, we had an entertainment company. We did a lot of airbrush tattoos. And so finally she asked me, she's like, Cliff, you do regular makeup on this hand, but then you leave my house and then you're doing airbrush body painting and airbrush clothing over here. Why aren't you airbrushing my makeup? And I told her, listen, there's nothing that somebody could do with an airbrush that I can't do manually with a foundation brush. And she said, well, I think that's for me to decide. I'll double your pay. And I was like, mm, all right, I'll be there on Saturday. And I was frantically calling all over the world trying to find the very best product. Uh, at this point, cost wasn't an issue. I found the product that worked for me, and I went over there. And I'm, I will admit, the very first time was a little bit rough. But I will make a point of saying a mediocre airbrush makeup artist is still going to give you a much more impressive texture of the skin than even a seasoned and skilled conventional makeup artist. And that's how I got in there. And from that point, I, I never looked back. I've been strictly, strictly airbrush makeup. Where I find ideas and creativity for my next jobs, I find it everywhere. I find it in nature. You know, if you see a hibiscus flower, seeing the way the pink starts to turn into a yellow on the petals against the contrast of the, contrast of the green uh, petals. Uh, everywhere I look, the clouds, the contrast against the sky, the uh, sunset, and then I also look on the internet. I research other makeup artists, uh, not necessarily to copy them, but sometimes when I see a really cool piece, I'm like, Oh my gosh, that is so cool, but I think I could do it differently if I did it like this and this and this, and I think that would be really rocking. So pretty much everywhere I go, regardless if I'm researching another makeup artist or special effects artist online, or if I'm driving and I see a particularly striking color of the cars you know, next to me. So everywhere, but that's something that you really have to train yourself to start watching for. If I was going to give advice to a professional makeup artist or an aspiring makeup artist to be into body painting is run to the body painting convention in Orlando. Don't walk, run. It's amazing. A lot of people think, oh, I've got to learn how to body paint before I go. And that's like saying, I'm going to get better before I go to the doctor. You know, you can obviously take classes beforehand, but don't wait to take classes and skip the convention. It's obviously your first step it's going to, your head's going to explode. It's going to be so incredible. Uh, you'll be surrounded by some of the top artists from around the world, and you'll actually be able to start seeing different venues and different, um, different ways that different artists paint, and you'll find one that you gravitate towards and start developing that skill set outside of the convention setting throughout the year. And so don't be intimidated. We all started somewhere. Even if you're uh, a highly skilled makeup artist, you did have a beginning. So now you just have to realize now you have another beginning as a, as a body painter and we were all there and most of the people there are very, very supportive and will help you in any way that we can.